Gabrielle welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be doing a wig review on this gorgeous unit that I'm wearing and I'm also going to be showing you how I got today's icy eyeshadow so if you want to see what I think about this wig and how I did my makeup today then definitely keep on watching so first things first today's wig review is brought to you by wigit.co.uk I've done a few wig reviews for this company before and I absolutely love them and the reason why I love them is because at home you will know if you live in England it is so difficult to to find the newest wigs and to get your hands on the newest wigs but the great thing about Wigit is that they always have like the latest ones from Bobby Boss, Main Concept etc etc so if you're at home right now thinking oh my gosh where can I get my wigs the answer is Wigit so the link will be down below and I also have a special link as well so if you want to save five pounds on your order then definitely use that the wig that I'm reviewing today is from Bobby Boss and this is MLP 0012 Naya Faith and I'm wearing it in the color 1B which I know you might find surprising I'm usually all about the blonde it actually comes in a really nice TT6 forward slash steel color which is kind of like a gray with a ombre top I really wanted that color but they didn't have that one in stock at the time so one thing I wanted to mention about this wig is that it's just a lace part wig so it's not a lace front wig and that to me was a little bit of a shame lace part wigs they always they're like the hairline is just always like real heavy and you there's not really a lot that you can do with it you can't really pluck it because it's just like it is what it is so that's the only thing that I'm not too keen on this wig aside from that the style I think is absolutely gorgeous this one has as you can see a very very deep side part that side part is also five inches long as well so I've just gone ahead and added some powder to mine just to make it look a little bit better the hair texture of this wig is like a light yakky so far I've had like no shedding at all like absolutely none so I'm very very impressed with that and tangling of course I haven't been wearing it for that long but that has been pretty minimal short wigs like this as even though they have curls in it they do tend to last that little bit longer the unit is also heat safe the wig has a nice volume and I feel like this is the kind of wig that I could wear to work I could wear it to a holiday party I could wear it absolutely anywhere it's definitely one that you can style up or you can style down and to be honest even though the hairline is a little bit thick I do think that this wig does look fairly natural especially with that hair texture I feel like you know somebody would have to look pretty closely in the front for them to be able to see that it's not your hair do you know what I mean so I do think it's quite a nice natural looking wig so those are my thoughts on the wig so if you want to see how I got this icy eyeshadow with the snowflakes and the glitter and everything then let's move on to that right now so first things first, I'm starting off with my NYX concealer in the shade 3.5 and I'm just using that to base my eyelids as I usually do. I like to do this just so that my colors really pop when I apply them. And the palette that I'm using today is from Profusion Cosmetics and this is the Temptress palette. This palette is $10, which is so exciting. And as you can see, so I was really impressed with the color payoff. It is a little bit patchy, so you do have to go in and like really blend, but I kind of find blending quite therapeutic anyway, so I was fine with that. So that first color that I started off by using was called Wavy, and now I'm using the shade Enigma just to deepen up the color a little bit. The brush that I'm using right now is actually from the Profusion palette. So for that $10, you do actually get 21 colors and then they do also give you a brush. The brush that they give you is okay. It is a little bit dense, which is why I just kind of used it to pack on the color. And then I switched to one of my other brushes, which is just one that I got from Amazon, just so I could go in and blend that out a little bit more. And now I'm just packing on a little bit more of that color Enigma just to really deepen up that color a bit more. And I'm going back in with my concealer just to define my halo eye. For the inside of my halo eye, I'm going to be starting off with the color Geode and I am just going to be using my finger to apply that. The shimmers in this palette are definitely much easier to apply with your finger than a brush, I will just say that. So I just used a brush just so I could get real close up to the edge of my halo eye, but for the most part I do just use my fingers. And now in the center I'm just going to be going in with that color Sorcery, which is a really pretty silver shade. 
and then back in with the shade Geode, just so that it all blends like really, really nicely. And then to continue that blend, I'm taking the shade Thunder and also mixing that with Enigma and a very small um, blending brush, which I got from Morphe. I'll leave the details down below and I'm just gonna blend that out. I really enjoy blending. I, like I said, I find it very therapeutic, so I hope you enjoy it too. And then I'm just taking that shade Enigma and I'm just gonna, again, just darken up just the edges of the halo eye and then use that small blending brush just to blend it all out again. The glitter liner that I'm using is from NYX and I'm just using that just to give everything a nice pop. And then to darken up my lash line, I'm gonna be using this eyeliner from Sigma Cosmetics and you can save 10% with the discount code LONDON10. So if you aren't feeling super extra, you really could just end this eye makeup look right here. But I, of course, am feeling extra. It's winter, so why not draw some snowflakes as well? To do this, I'm just using my NYX white liner. Usually I have issues with this because it cracks, but I think because the lines that I'm drawing are so thin that it did actually stay and look pretty good for quite a while. So I'm not the best at explaining things, which is of course why I'm showing you what I'm doing, but essentially I just drew a dot, then I drew some lines coming out of it, and then I gave those lines some little lines. And then I just added a few dots and then topped them off with some glitter liner just to make them a little bit more fun. Before I put my false eyelashes on, I do like to apply my mascara. And can I just say, this look is so affordable. Like that mascara is drugstore. These eyelashes are from AliExpress. They're only $2 and that palette is $10. Like it's so, so cheap. And I'm just going back in with that shade Sorcery in my inner corners just to really make them pop. And then I'm gonna take Enigma underneath my eyes just to kind of make the look come together, you know? And then for my highlight today, I'm using my Unicorn Glow Palette and I was not expecting that glow. Like, oh my goodness, I love it so much. I just kind of blended it out with my finger a little bit just so it wasn't like super over the top, but obviously I want it to be kind of over the top because that's just the way that I am. Now, because I have a brown complexion, I did take that shade Enchanted just to top the other shade Celestial, just so that it doesn't look as gray on my skin tone, if you know what I mean. And now I'm just gonna line my lips with my usual Amazon lip liner because if it ain't broke, then don't fix it. And I'm topping that off with my ColourPop liquid matte lipstick in the shade Times Square. I do kind of wish I'd done gloss actually, but I don't know, it looks okay with the look. Maybe top it with a gloss if you're feeling fun. And oh, I forgot to put mascara on my bottom lashes, so that's what I just did there. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. I will of course be back with another one very soon. Happy holidays, bye.